Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you the design for card page. So before doing that, this is the new uh, MacBook Pro and I'm, I'm recording my video on this one. So this is the first video I'm recording on this. So after this, I will upload more video, especially when it comes to Laravel and Shopify apps. Mac is a lot easy and I will show you in the practical app development, I will show you how much easy it is to use Mac when you are uh, developing any Shopify uh, apps. So let's start working on the card page. I have already designed the basic stuff. The source code is also available on the GitHub. You can see what is uh, what has changed. So if you come to the Shopify theme here in the online store, again, there are some options that you can add to this one. It does not have like the best design possible, but you can bring more update to this one. In this video, I will explain what are more options we can add to our theme. So far, if you use this theme, people can like functionally, if, if, like functionally everyone can use this theme and they can purchase product from their website. The design is bad. You can improve the design and everything is fine. The only thing this theme is missing is JavaScript. People does not want to refresh the page, go to another page and stuff like that. They want some basic interaction with JavaScript. We haven't used any JavaScript so far. In the beginning of the video, I said I'm going to use Vue.js. Now is the time for that. What are those stuff? First of all, when you update the cart, it should not refresh the page. It should instantly update your cart. It is a bad experience for the user and I'm now waiting. Uh, my internet speed is fast, but still it is going to load uh, like the cart again to update my page. So it should happen behind the scene. This is not what the user wants. And if I'm in the product page, if, if a user is adding the product to the cart, it should not send me straight to the cart page. It should just uh, show me a notification of, yes, your product is at, uh, to the cart now. You can check out or you can continue shopping, something like that. Currently, if I am adding a product to the cart, it is adding and redirecting me to the cart page, which is not what I want. So those are the things I have to do with JavaScript, and we will work on that as, as we go. There are some basic stuff you have to know when you develop like a Shopify theme and JavaScript. Those are the things I will show you. For the design stuff, I will do my best to use like the minimal design from Bootstrap, but you can improve it the, however you want. I will show you the resources. For example, if you come to Dribble and search for any keyword that you want, for example, one of the card page that looks nice to me is like this. It is a nice card page, but it is like a checkout. But you can apply this one to your card page. And let's say how you want to display your product and how it is going to be displayed. Currently, the way you access the card page, I said in the previous video too, going to a slash card. Most of the time, people do not go to the card page because if you want to add a product to a card, just straight uh, send them to the checkout and that is the quickest way to get, gain customer and that is what most people want to do. So for us, you must have a cart page because someone might come back to the cart page from the checkout. If you go to the cart, let's say you are going to the cart and this is the functionality you have to know. Shopify checkout is not customizable for most users unless you are a Shopify plus and also that is limited customization. The only thing you can change in this page is the title, the logo, and those are the things that you can change. The color of them, you cannot uh, bring more functionality like adding your own fields and stuff like that. Whatever Shopify offered you, that is what you can do. So you cannot design the checkout. It is nice and it is fine. So if someone come back to the cart page, we must have the cart page. But as I said, most people do not have a cart page. If you add a product to the cart, they will show you a pop-up. You want to check out or you want to continue shopping. Those are the basic stuff like every shop must have. So if you want to know more about that one, so we will continue working on JavaScript stuff after this one. So this is the cart page. And after this, I will work more on JavaScript. If you don't know much JavaScript, let me know below this video. If I am using any, let's say default, like any difficult word or anything that you do not understand, I will explain it more. But I assume you know Ajax, you know Axios, you know a little bit of Vue.js and javascript so in the next video we'll work on how you can add product with ajax request to the cart and working on the mini card also thank you for watching i will see you in the next video